let's explore the policymaking process. The policymaking process involves multiple demands, conflicts, compromises, and decisions. This is a broad definition for making policy, and it's not exclusive in terms of any one branch or level of government. Policymaking is complex, characterized by a lack of centralized direction, a focus on interactions of foreign, national, state, and local governments, and involvement of private interests with specialized concerns. The policy process is not a smoothly functioning, ongoing sequence with one phase predictably following another. Where administrative agencies play a central role in the policy process, policy making can be described as occurring in four stages. The first is a legislative stage involving both Congress and the president, often agency administrators, which is basic legislation drawn up, considered, and is approved by law. The legislative stage normally centers on actions of the chief executive and key legislators but the role of higher level administrators in formulating and proposing new policy options is also very important. Administrative involvement in subsequent stages of the policy process can assume a variety of forms. These include rulemaking, adjudication, law enforcement, and program operation. Rulemaking is a quasi-legislative power delegated to agencies by Congress. Rules may serve different functions, elaborating on general statutory provisions, or indicating probable agency behavior in particular matters. Adjudication is a quasi-judicial function involving the application of current laws or regulations to particular situations by case-by-case -case decision making, such as the FDA's power to seek criminal penalties. Law enforcement refers to securing compliance with existing statutes and rules, and not necessarily to police functions and, more specifically, to the enthusiasm an agency brings to the task of implementing legislative authorizations. Many facets of program funding and administration are closely tied to either intergovernmental collaboration or competition. An absence of centralized direction characterizes many phases of policymaking, producing policies that look, accurately enough, as though they were arrived at from many directions at once. It's clear that the word policy refers to intentions and symbols as well as actual results of government activity. Policies are put into effect only to the degree that program objectives related to them are met. 